I started practicing in 1969. So when I was young, yeah, really young. I actually, at that time, there wasn't, uh, when my dad, my father took me in for lessons, there wasn't really a kid's class. There was okay. a, I was uh, uh, going to turn 11 years old and I had to join the, the teen class for 13 and up. Oh, wow. But so it worked that out. Was, that was yeah. kind of like a baptism by fire then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a uh, small guy in class, but, uh, you know, it was a, uh, it was a martial arts school, like a traditional uh, Shotokan Judo and Karate school. So okay. everyone, yeah, even the beginners were disciplined, you know, so I was treated respectfully. It was a good time. It was a good, good experience. Yeah. So let me ask you, I guess, what uh, got you, you know, first interested in martial arts? Was it something that, um, you know, your, uh, your kind of father pushed you to do or were you a big Bruce Lee fan? Uh, actually both, you know, uh, during the time, when I was younger, uh, my father and I would watch a detective show. show. It was black and white, uh, and it was called Charlie Chan the Detective. Okay. Where this, where this short Chinese guy would solve crimes. He was a pudgy guy, solve crimes. And during one episode, I recall him uh, throwing a guy. And I really, really was like, holy cow, that's so cool. And my dad was like, I could show you judo throw. My dad took a was in the U.S. military, so he learned a little bit of self-defense, and he actually taught me my first throw, right. you know, how to throw somebody, yeah. But I kept bugging him, and he was like, I can't show you anymore, really. I don't recall that much. And uh, he took me in for lessons. I bugged him enough for him to take me in. So then uh, judo was what you first started with? Yeah, judo, and uh, as I said, Shotokan Karate, and a little bit of uh, Japanese jiu-jitsu when I turned, like, 14 years old. Mm -hmm. So I guess, which one did you, uh, I mean, you know, I mean, I'm sure you enjoyed doing all of them, but which one did you first fall in love with that really, you know, made you want to dedicate yourself to that? Yeah, judo. Actually, judo, the, uh, they call it the art of the gentle way. Okay. It's uh, use, your, use your opponent's force. And uh, it was, uh, I realized that, you know, with judo, it really didn't matter on the person's side because you could actually... Uh, if you have good technique, you could actually throw people. Right. You know, naturally, naturally, they they could also throw you if they know the martial art. But uh, you could get your lick in when you uh, surprisingly. So, so how long was it before you started um, uh, fighting competitively? Were you uh, you know doing kids tournaments? Was that something you were always interested in, or was it something that you kind of um, developed a learn or a yearning to get into later on? Um, actually, at about. Six months, they had a uh, just an inter-school tournament, just the school, and I won first place. Oh wow! Like out of I, yeah, my my division was up to fourteen years old, and me being like at that time I was eleven, mm -hmm. I, I I won my division. Uh, so then I got to represent the school at a bigger tournament. So yeah. I went to a bigger tournament, and uh, at that time I took like third place. Wow. So I was really in like. Yeah, I was really like, holy cow, I really love this. So, well, I mean, I, I know I know this is going to be a pretty hard question. I'm going to have you try and remember back pretty far. So just being, you know, so much younger, oh, do you remember what your strategy was going into those fights? Did you have like a certain kind of, um, um, you know, focus on speed or swiftness? Um, actually, uh, because I was shorter, I used to, man, I forget what the throw is. Now, but there is a throw where you drop to your knees, and the, and since the guys are taller, when I drop to my knees, it would force them off their center of balance, and I could throw them. Okay. So, so there was a particular uh, throw. Man, I forget. Like I said, it's been a while. But that's, I would try to set them up for that. Get them, you know, try to be like, oh, uh, they're bigger than me, yeah. so they they would try to, you know, uh, get over me, you know, try to muscle me a little bit. And when they did that, I dropped to my knees which would drop their center of balance and use their own force, and i throw them. Right. So, so I mean, I guess with that move, is that uh, when you drop down, are you, like, trying to take out their knees under them, or are you trying to just, uh, you know, use their force to spin them back and, you know, get on top of them? Actually, it's to use their force to pull them onto your back so you can throw them. Okay. So, uh, two, it's close up. The technique is close up. So, uh, naturally, if somebody... 
even even at the I think at the time I was like 115 pounds. Even at that, if somebody just puts 150 15 pounds on your lapel, yeah. it kind of pulls you forward. Yeah, yeah. It jerks you forward. So th- when they get jerked forward and I was already un- kind of underneath them, I'd flip them over my back. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's an interesting strategy, though, like it, particularly like being the little guy, you know, if you, I mean, it's kind of like football or uh, wrestling, right? The lowest man will always have the most leverage. Yeah, yeah, surprisingly, yeah, that's very true. So, uh, so when you, so you start out with the judo tournament, now were these, uh, tournaments straight judo tournaments or were you, uh, doing like uh, karate tournaments on top of the judo or the kind um, of no, mixed martial I, I, arts? At that point I was only, uh, competing in the judo tournament. The, uh, to do the karate, they were only taking brown belts and over. Okay. So you, unless you had a brown belt and were, uh, over 17, you really couldn't compete in the tournament because they were actually there was no like fighting gear you weren't right, allowed right. to kick you couldn't punch a guy in the face and you couldn't kick a guy in the groin or the knees but you can label a guy in the chest and in the stomach with a with a punch or a kick and you were able to kick to the head so it was like when i saw stuff it was surprisingly uh brutal those guys were really hardcore oh, those yeah. guys yeah they're <laughs> they're hard